Killing me softly with his song, killing me softly with his song, telling my whole life with his Weird. words. It's not really song. interesting. Well, look what it says. It says, the world's most secretive and terrifying religion. Why would they call your religion secret and terrifying? Yeah, that's not that. that. You know, it, it, aren't you kind of wondering things about, like, where David Miscavige's wife is? Have you ever heard anything about her in a while? How many people do you sleep in a room with? Uh, myself. Myself. Okay, so you don't sleep up in the Sea Org building or anything like that. Are you allowed to use the internet? Um, as, as much as I want. What makes you think that we wouldn't? Because uh, some people are not allowed to use the internet, and some people have uh, internet blocking software installed on their computers to are block you things. Are using it? Yes, yes. I'm a, I'm a member of Anonymous. Okay, I'm not. Oh, yes, I know you're giving out these cards. Um, you know, aren't you ever guilty about how many times you lie about how short the test is, and then you just put out the e-meter, and then it makes a little blip, and then you just toss it away and throw Dianetics at them? I don't don't feel you feel guilty about Don't anything. you feel guilty about that? No. But, those are all like little lies because it doesn't take two minutes. It's not free. You want them to divide Dianetics, and the, the e meter has nothing to do with stress tests. It's just sure an electric. It it's an electric. It's an electric volt. It tells us stress. Absolutely. You can control it by squeezing it back and forth. Sure, but stress also. Okay. Um, there's a. There's supposed to be a plaque at the bottom of the e meter, and this plaque says, "By itself, this e meter does nothing unless used in a religious context." Sure. Look, look underneath your e-meter and tell me what's under there, because I believe there's a little white label from a file cabinet or something like that with a number on it. Could we check the, the bottom of your e-meter now? No. Why not? You can't come in there. Would you bring the e-meter out here? No. But if that e-meter doesn't have that plaque visible on the bottom at least, that means you're practicing medicine without a license. That's not true. Oh, I'm afraid it is How true. is this medicine? Uh, practicing medicine giving stress tests. You have stress is related to the human body and medicine. Well, we're not in a there medical was, capacity. Uh, that's, then why do you have all of these um, saunas and vitamin overdoses and you call that medicine? I've heard that people who are OT7s and 8 died because they stopped taking cancer medicine because the church told them to. A, a woman, as far as I know, that's not true. A woman named Tori Brazarian uh, was having like seizures because she wasn't taking her epilepsy medicine. Where did you get that information? She told me that. She, she was in the church for 30 years. She was an OT7. I don't know. I don't know that's well, you, not. If you go to uh, if you go to YouTube and type Scientology, you can see all her videos. She talks all about Scientology. I don't get my information. I don't. I don't get everything I base upon live based off of YouTube or the internet. Uh huh. You get, in, but you just. But why is that different than only getting it off Elmer Ron Hubbard books? I mean, other other people have written books about radiation. You know, I'm a gay guy on psych drugs. Okay. I'm a gay guy on psych drugs. And Dianetics, right there, we can get Dianetics and look up homosexuality. Tell me what it says. It says I'm a pervert. Why should I join your church if, if that book's going to call me a permit? Yes, it does. It says it's a deviant. It's a deviant. Get Dianetics out here and let's look at it. You want to talk about Dianetics? Bring Dianetics out and we'll find the homophobic passage in Dianetics. Would you please bring a copy out here? No. I'm I'll buy it. That. I'll buy it? I don't care if you're going to buy it or not. We're not going to bring it out here. But if you're so proud of Dianetics, then you can talk about it. Well, mm -hmm. I'm not going to talk to somebody that's out here just to prove that my religion is wrong or to tell me that I'm wrong for believing well, I'm trying Well, I'm trying to make you I think. I think that's bullshit. I think, I think you're bullshit. What, what if you have low self-esteem and they're just using you? Um, I don't think that I have low self-esteem. I come out here once a week to volunteer my oh. time to do how, this. How far up the bridge are you? Uh, that doesn't matter. I'm not going to tell you that. I'm not going to tell, tell you that. I'm just curious. Myself. I'm going to be curious. Well, why are, why are you so angry? I'm just trying to debate. Isn't, isn't Scientology about truth and debate and sh spreading it's religion? Debate. It's uh. about giving people freedom. Freedom. If it's have you ever been? Have you ever tried anything in Scientology? Have you ever if, been if it's about in it? giving people freedom, why do you use the word free when you charge for everything? I mean, everything have you ever is charged done anything for. Anything in Scientology? Yes, I just had a stress test last week. Oh, so I, all you've had is a stress test. I also watched the DVD. Own, and that's how you base your entire. Um, you know, I've also read secret OT8 documents, and I'm well familiar with the OT3 stories about Xenu, the Galactic Overlord. I don't know anything about that. That's, that's because fine. you haven't been told that yet. You won't. You won't be told that until you spend lots of money. Lots and lots of money. So what's your purpose? Our purpose is uh, the downfall of the Church of Scientology in its present form. We are going to try to prevent people from joining. We're going to try to prevent people from buying books. We're going to get the tax status of the church revoked, as it is in Texas, for instance. So have you succeeded? Appar apparently, uh, I'm told by insiders that uh, participation in various events is down 80%. Now, since I'm not allowed in... And since I'm not allowed into those events, I don't know. I've also heard that, have you ever been to Hammett, the gold base? No. No, that's where, uh, that's where David Miscavige, and that's where all the DVDs are made and stuff. Have you heard of gold base? 
Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, apparently, out there, that's gone from like 1,400 people to 400. I mean, I, I, don't, I haven't been that. there. One of the ex-Scientologists who has spies, uh, Tori Magoo, Tori Christman. Tori Magoo, I don't know. Tori Magoo is her email name, and you don't know. You, you, she was called Tori Bazarian in the, in the cult. What's her name? Tori Bazarian. That's what she was called, or that's what her name That's was? That's her real name. And then when she had to leave the cult, she was declared SP, and her husband immediately divorced her. So she went back to her maiden name, Tori Christman. Okay. So you can look her up on Tori Magoo on YouTube, and uh, there, there she is. I don't look up YouTube. I don't look at my information on, Isn't based on the internet. I'm not at all, ever. How are you going to get a job if you don't know how to use the internet? I have a job. Oh, uh, but that's okay. How are you going to get a better job if you don't know how to use or not allowed to use the internet? Um, I'm allowed to use the internet, and I know how to use it. I just choose not to base my facts upon what I'm going to judge. judge well, the, my the life internet is the internet is full of crazy crap and goofy gossip. I admit it. That's true. It's not very. It's not trustworthy at all. But Scientology is so untrustworthy that that even the internet is better than Scientology. Uh, what what if you're like living in a bubble world and they're like keeping things from you? Like you know, I'm not living in a bubble. World. The free. Do you know the free winds had a big blue asbestos problem and it could not leave port in the Caribbean until they got it out and that. The, the, the company that was supposed to remove it said, we're not touching the stuff, it's too dangerous, you don't have the facilities, and it got stuck, got stuck in port. Then they had Scientologist RPFs come and clean it out in an unsafe manner and just dump the blue asbestos inland, apparently. Who told you that? I read it on Asbestos News. It's a website for asbestos people. And also, other people on a website called interbulation.com have been talking about it. And now the free winds has been cleaned up, but some of it, they may have just painted over asbestos, which it might be safe for now, but if you pull it out, or if like particles flake out, it gets into your lungs. So let me ask, what do you do? What's your job? What's your, what do you do for a living? I'm a Disney animator. A Disney animator? Ex-Disney animator. So Currently working on right Fox. Now? Currently working on uh, movies. What, what movie? What are you doing? Uh, the Day the Earth Stood Still. Okay. And so you spend all your free time worrying about other Scientology, people's... yes, yes. Why? Well, if you would bring Dianetics out here, we would look up the section that's homophobic, and then I would tell you why, but you don't want to do that. No, I'm not Don't you have do faith in Dianetics? I do have faith in Dianetics. Well, then let's talk about it. You want me to buy a copy? Well, I'm yes, you... Proving this, proving Scientology is what you're here for, right? No. Well, what are those cards for? These cards are for someone that actually needs change in their life, that's interested in improving themselves. Uh, I need to improve myself. My IQ is only 160. Okay. <laughs> and I could be even smarter. Do you by doing this? Do you think, like, you're making a, you know, you're going to become some new internet rage or... No, no, no. I, I just want to, uh, I, I just want to try and convince you that, you know, you should think openly to yourself. Like, think with a critical mind. Oh, I did. And before I came to speak with you, uh -huh. I had an open mind. I didn't know who the fuck you were. Uh-huh. And now during this conversation, I kind of realized that you're just some guy that's out to go make other people wrong. I'm not and trying to make you wrong. Shit. I'm sure that you think that this is, I'm sure you believe this is good, but I'm saying that people above you may be manipulating you. No, I don't let people manipulate me. Maybe you do. Maybe that's what your problem is. Maybe that were, that's where you went wrong. Maybe I need a stress test. Why don't we go and give me a stress test? No. No. See, I mean, you've got all these copies of books and, and you're, here to, you're here to spread Scientology. Now convince a critic that, that you know, I'm wrong. How? I'm not going to prove anything to you. So how can you, if you can't prove it to me, how will you prove it to anyone else? Can't you, don't you have to believe in yourself first? Um, I don't have to prove anything. It's up to what they want to believe. If they choose not to believe this, that's fine. Have you heard of OT powers? What, what does that have to do with anything that we're talking about? Have you ever seen OT powers? What does that have anything to do with the talking about? It's just a question. Why? What's that question have to do with that? I'm Why saying, what up? if OT powers don't exist if you've never seen anyone use them? Have you ever seen air? Uh, shouldn't my head have been exploded by now? Because I was down there at the other place raising hell, and they were trapped in both their buildings for about an hour now. If someone had OT powers, they would have used them on me, well, but they well, didn't. Like what? Like uh, making me pass out, making, you know, well, controlling my mind to make me go away. You're nuts. Uh, I am. Gosh. What, what, what if? What if I'm crazy like a fox, though? I mean, crazy like a fox. Yeah, that means that someone who seems crazy and then you realize, oh, they secretly knew information you didn't, you know? Somehow I don't think that's the case. Um, did you know that I'm going to be putting this on, on YouTube later and, and the whole world's going to see it? And like, this is your chance to defend Scientology. That's great. That's great. So, so um, tell me about homosexuality and Dianetics. Nope. Okay, tell me about um, stress and Dianetics. 
No, no, you don't want to talk about Dianetics. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk to it. Why don't you want to talk to it? But, but it's your job to talk about Dianetics. I just don't understand, man. I just don't understand. Uh, what if you, have you seen that movie, The Truman Show, where the guy's in the bubble world and, and everybody's pretending that it, it's all okay? Tori Magoo says that's what Scientology is being like. It's like it being in a bubble world and you only see the stuff that's shown to you. And like, if you see stuff that maybe doesn't quite fit the philosophy, you sort of like shove it under the rug. I mean, you're never allowed to talk about the tech. I probably talked about the tech a lot more than, see, see he's scared. He's scared you're gonna start thinking. He's scared you start thinking. Killing me softly with his song. Killing me softly.